Oi, <laughs> hang on. Is that work? Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right, man. You're right. You're sideways. I, I, oh, I need to do it like this. Hang on. I'm trying <laughs> to figure out what I'm doing now. It's all, all right. right. Oi, there we go. That's better. There we go. How are you, mate? I'm all right. How are you, man? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, how's that the been instant... treating you? Um, it's been all right. It's given me a lot of time to like listen to music and stuff. Yeah, any yeah, new music? But, uh, I think all the people I listen to are dead. <laughs> oh, okay. But 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 um, no, but found lots of you know real great people about like you don't realize how much is out there. It's like how much you miss. So I always just keep finding new people back from way back, <laughs> and it's like I don't know I've missed them. You know what I mean? It's, That's brilliant. Who have you been listening to today? Uh, I've listened to George Jones, um, country guy. He's like the best singer I've ever heard, ever. Um, he's got like, he can just like think of the words inside your head and sing them back to you. And it's like, oh, you know, he's great, man. <laughs> but um, he, he hasn't been off the, the deck, man. I, I just love him. Yeah. Ah, oh, brilliant. But um, that was an intense 10 minutes trying to figure out how to Zoom that was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God bless you, mate. Well, firstly, thank you so much for doing this, obviously, with all the stress of ah, setting up good. Zoom. <laughs> Oh, it's um, sound. No, no, don't worry, man. Anything is something to do in it. Yeah, exactly. The, the whole point of this is sort of to start building a community again. So, obviously, you've got Chester and yeah. certain areas that have their really tight patched community, whereas with North Wales, um, you don't really have as much, do you? So, what yeah. I want to do is build something where we can start talking, start having a laugh, and maybe six months down the line, have a jam together. That's the yeah, sort of that, thing that'd that, be great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the sort of thing that's that what, I'm aiming for. That's what I'm missing in it. I remember like the jam night in Flint was just like five minutes from my house, and it's like the such a yeah, it's such a privilege to be able to like walk there, get wasted, and walk back, and you don't have to worry <laughs> about nothing. You know, it's it's great. Right. Who's been your just, favorite person there to jam with? Um, oh God, loads of people. That's how I met the band I'm in mean, now. It's from jamming there, you know, and uh, really? Kaz and that. She's she's great, like, and the rest of the band. But that's how I fell into it all. I sort of broke up with my first band and then ended up with, you know, just jamming with loads of people. I don't know if you ever went to the one in Telfer's in Chester. I did like a blues jam. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's pretty good there. Um, but I didn't find anyone there. I ended up finding them in um, in Flint, but it was great. I don't know why they wanted me. Like, <laughs> it was good. It was good that they did, you know. Oh, bless you, mate. That's brilliant. So, so for people who are watching who don't know yourself, you're a guitarist, correct? Yeah, well, I tried to be. <laughs> you tried to be. You are one of the best. I was saying this to my missus the other day. You are one of the best guitarists I have ever seen. Uh, oh, I, I've, no, I've no, been no, to it's, the, it's true. I've been to see Green Day, uh, Bring Me the Horizon, Brian Adams. I've seen oh, lots classic. of people. And then I came to the Flint uh, Royal British Legion probably oh, yeah. a year, year and a half ago now. And um, I just watched nice you, one. and you were absolutely incredible. Because you've got um, oh, no, a thanks, man. Les nice. Paul, haven't you? Gibson Les Paul. Oh, yeah. You know, it's sort of, it, it's headstock broke on it, like, a couple of years ago. And, um, you know, it was it's a funny story. It was like, we, you know, it, it broke and whatever. But once it came back together, it was just, like, magic again. And once we had gigs with it, it was just, it's a proper, you know, it's my favourite thing ever, that guitar. Oh, but, um, what actually got you into into music then? I really don't know. I had a really good friend in high school called Ben, and he was kind of into it all. And he pretty much taught me. He's a fantastic. You know, we think if I'm think I'm good, <laughs> you should see him. You know, he's crazy. And uh, I kind of learned from him. And and I don't think he plays much much more to the shame, but he should. But um, no, that's the kind of you know I had friends, and then I think I was in the band before I could actually play guitar. You know, I just hanging around <laughs> with them all. <laughs> but um, just I just like that sort of I just like the freedom just being able to have something you're good at and be able to have fun with your friends you know yeah it's just what, what, it's just a good what are you in at the moment what are they called uh one's called the sons of saints um which is like the full band and uh one's the new kid which is a duo do you, I don't know if you know Karis um you, you might have seen her around but uh she's in we, we just saw in both of them you know okay is she a guitarist, bassist, singer? Oh, she's she's a singer. She's right. the best singer. Like I love George Jones. God, I love it. <laughs> but, but but she is just something else, you know. Yeah. Been lucky to put, fall in with them. It's like you know the right kind of people. It's like you and me, we're like musicians. We always get along, you know. Yeah. But um, it's just something special about that band. It just nothing. I don't think we've ever argued. I think we might have disagreed once or twice, but nothing major, you know. Yeah. 
and uh, oh, we just have a real good laugh and real, you know, our kind of people, we, we, you know, musicians, creative people. It's it's good. That's awesome. That's all. Do you write your own music in the band then? Uh, not yet. We kind of do bits and pieces. We're kind of like a jamming sort of band, you know. We just sort of go in a room, play for like half an hour, just messing about, and that that was fun. I think we need to sort, of, you know, we probably will end up doing something eventually with our yeah. own stuff. I'd like to do it live, you know, like. I think there's magic in it being like in the moment and like, so I wouldn't want to sit down in a studio and like overdub. I'd like a, a live album. I think that's where we're best at, you know, that's what we yeah. do best. <laughs> oh, that's fair enough. That's, so how's COVID been affecting you? Are you still practicing through Zoom or you, you just sort of put everything yeah. aside for now? Uh, I've, I've seen him a couple of times, you know, just met up with him, but we haven't played together for since before COVID. We had a couple of gigs in 2020, um, some interesting ones. We played for a mayor, which was interesting. <laughs> it's like his birthday party or something. In, um, oh, I can't, is it Highfield Hall in Mold? Yeah. Somewhere near that? Yeah. But uh, it, was, it was quite an interesting one. Like, it was good. But um, that, and we played the Tiv, and I think we played South Seren, I think. But that was all we did in 2020. It was not, not much at all. No. But, uh, but Kaz has been doing live gigs during like the lockdown and that, so I've just been watching them, having a drink, you know, chilling out. <laughs> oh, brilliant. I don't blame you at all, to be honest. I've been watching a few <laughs> myself. Um, do you know Neil Murphy? I don't know. I might have known the name, I think. I, I probably have met him. Um, yeah. He's yeah. a really nice guy. He was doing, I was speaking to him. Um, obviously, when this goes out, it'll be mm -hmm. a couple of weeks since his interview. But I was speaking to him yeah, last, yeah. Na last night. Um, oh, nice, and he was saying, nice. first lockdown for 14 weeks, every Sunday, he was doing a live show on Facebook. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then I just thought, fair news to him. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't have the stomach to do that, to just, just keep doing it. Because no. yeah. the thing with Neil is he has different songs with me. I'd, I'd get bored. I'd get bored, personally. Yeah. <laughs> I, I couldn't do it just I, I for couldn't. screen. Yeah, I couldn't do it. I, I can't sing for one. I Christ and <laughs> and um, but um, no, I, I think it's a good thing though that live music sort of stayed alive during this through yeah. like the online stuff and like obviously I've never I've not had Zoom but I know a lot of stuff goes on on it that's that you know like bands are practicing they're doing like recording songs and I don't know how they do it they put it all into one video and it's like a big song yeah. that they played in the house and stuff. Yeah. And uh, what have you been have you been doing much? Uh, um, I haven't, I'm, I'm not really on, like I'm on Facebook and stuff, but I never really go on it much. But. No, that's fair enough. Um, I, I record myself, I'm recording. Um, oh, nice one. Yeah, thank you. I'm oh, cool. So like your, like your own stuff? Yeah, it's coming out. Um, well, it's meant to be coming out a week today. I'm still working on one song oh. at the moment though, so I haven't submitted it oh, yet. Oh, nice one, man. <laughs> you always have to, like, you're always tinkering, aren't you, up until yeah. the last minute. Is like, exactly. I was meant to have it submitted first thing this morning. It's, uh, it's not gone out yet. <laughs> oh so, uh, man you'll get it done yeah I, I hope so it should be should be submitted by sunday but definitely out next next friday it'll be on uh, spotify and awesome man see that's the good thing about like spotify and that is that way back when like if we were in like the 50s and wearing suits and you know whatever we, we'd have to, we'd have to like have a manager and stuff to get the records on the shelves and stuff but now we can like in our bedroom just record something and then by lunchtime it's on the biggest shelves in the world you know and yeah. ev everyone could listen to it so it that's a, i suppose that's a good thing like you know oh yeah yeah it is but it, i also think of it the other way does it reduce the market so you've got people who are getting stuff out there fantastic but maybe is there yeah. too many people not at a high enough standard What's oh i see yeah because that? That, anyone can do it sort of thing yeah yeah what's yeah, your opinion true. on that with um sort of anyone doing anything yeah, but well, I think everyone's entitled to do what they want, you know, but, yeah. you know, but it can like sort of crowd the marketplace, I get, you know, there's, um, but no, you, I think, you, you know, if you want to put something out there, go ahead and do it. It'd be, it's yeah. quite fun, you know, if it doesn't work, I've put out songs with my old band and stuff that we all look back and laugh at now, and it's like, you know, it was good while it was. It's experience. But, um, yeah, it's what I think, you look back and you learn, don't you? It's like, um, I'm still learning now, you, I've never, you know, I never pick up a guitar and think oh I've mastered it you know I'm still learning new things every day honestly I'm exactly the same and I teach it <laughs> oh nice one yeah you're always learning like it's like you're always listening to new music and stuff and yeah just when you think you found the one guy that's like oh god you know then you find another one it's like oh this is all right <laughs> hello tell me about it right yeah. so 
talking about live gigs then, what would be your favourite song to perform live? Oh, God, that's a tough question, man. I know. <laughs> uh, um, t- oh, let's think. Favourite song to perform live? Um, probably one. I think I'd love to do a Slade song live. I remember playing the, I'm going to say, the Slade for Life, not just for Christmas. I want to get that in there. <laughs> and... Um, but we, I remember playing the Christmas song and everyone goes nuts to that. But yeah. I think uh, like uh, I've, I've got everything they've ever done. Something obscure by Slade would be pretty cool. But I'd love to do some country stuff as well. I got really into country. Okay. Um, and I just, I think a gig just sitting back instead of being up there dancing about with them, just sitting back with an acoustic, just, I think that'd be quite good. <laughs> yeah, that'd be ace. Do you have an acoustic, do you? Do you play it much? Yeah, I've um, I've got this really nice, it's, it's my like, second favourite guitar is um, like this Custom Martin um, thing. It's like, I went to Birmingham to get it and I got lost in Chinatown. And then I was like, they call roundabouts islands in Birmingham. Okay. And I was like, the, the, the guitar shop had moved and it said it's over the island. So I was like wandering around everywhere. I ended up in all sorts of different places. But once I got there, I like tried out all the guitars and stuff and ended up with this one. But it's not electric. Like you can't plug it in. It's just like acoustic. So um, I just play that in the bedroom. But I have got another one that I use like in the duo. We were an acoustic duo. So I just use the other one for, for live stuff. That's beat to hell, covered in blood and all sorts. Yeah. <laughs> but, <Brilliant. laughs> Would you ever use um, like a, oh, what are they called? The pickups that you can put in the guitar and take out. Would you ever use one of them? You know, you know what? I've got one and uh, I bought it when I bought that guitar. But I'm so scared to put it in in case it scratches it. Like I'm not one who like who Vermont, cares. You I can understand. see the back. I, I, I yeah. I I'm not one who cares really like for the live guitars and stuff if they get battered. But that one is so pristine. I want to keep it that way. So this pickup like wedges in there and I can't do it. I can't fucking bring myself to do it. <laughs> God, no, I completely understand that. I'd be. The, I've yeah. got one over there. It's like, that's, that's nice. Yeah. Thank that's, you. Oh, nice. I bought is it that, from um, from uh, Facebook Marketplace. And it was, oh, 50, not, you know, it, it was 50 quid. And I thought to myself, was it? Fucking there's yeah. got to be something wrong with that. Basically, yeah. the, um, the nut was snapped. The bridge pin, oh, yeah. one of them was stuck in. Um, so I just got some pliers and knocked it out the other side. Yeah, yeah. And the string was missing. And that was it. That was it. And they said, oh, it's not fixable. I was, I was like, mm. yeah, here's, here's your money. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Literally oh, did it in nice an hour. Man. Yeah. It was, That's brilliant. Yeah, so I get where you're coming from. I wouldn't put anything in that. I, I love it. I love, Keep it rec- nice. Yeah, it's my recording it's, guitar, so. Oh, nice. Is it, what's that one next to it? Is that like a junior sort of thing? Is it? It's a Gibson Les Paul Junior. Oh, nice. Very <laughs> nice. <laughs> I've got a Tokai just next to it as well. Oh, just, I didn't see that. Oh, uh, yes, Les Paul. I love <laughs> the Les Paul. Yeah, and I've yeah. got a, uh, I'll move out your way. There you go. I've got. Oh, a couple of Fenders. A uh, couple of Fenders. Bass, um, is that a 12 box. string? It is indeed. <laughs> oh, very um, fancy. <laughs> yeah, Epiphone Swingster, Ibanez, Semi Hollow, mm. and Stag Les Paul as well. And I'm working oh, on custom at the moment. That's very fancy, man. Yeah, I've, um, I've got one, I've got a telly. It's a bit beat up at the moment. I need to get it sorted. Yeah. Um, I threw it into a drum kit at the end of a gig and, and it hasn't been the same since. <laughs> that oh, was a couple gosh. of years ago. But well, uh, the electrics I've got... or? No, it's the, um, I had to describe, like, when you bend, it chokes out kind of thing. I think there's, like, a high threat in there somewhere. It just needs, like, a dressing or something. <laughs> but um, the, the other one I've got is Bonnie Raitt Signature. Now, there's another, like, I saying about George Jones, Bonnie Raitt, man. Oh, she's amazing. <laughs> just some musicians just, like, get you, don't they? It's, it's great. Yeah. Well, going back to, sort of, my first question, then, about what got you into music, would you say it was these types of musicians that inspired you to pick up a guitar and try and play it? I'm not sure. I think it was like the guys I was hanging around with were into it. So I sort of said, oh, you know, do you want to have a go? And I was like, oh, this is quite cool, you know. And um, but seeing seeing like like obviously you and me, I guess, come from the generation where like Slash is king, isn't he? He's like yeah. um, <laughs> and seeing seeing Slash like in November Rain video, we're like, that was cool, you know. And I thought, man, that's probably where the last Paul comes from. I was like, I want to be like that. But um, but then it's like a journey, isn't it, music? You go from, like, Slash, and he mentions, like, the Rolling Stones. And then you go from the Rolling Stones to the Faces because of Ronnie Wood and, like, Jeff Beck from there because of, you know, Rod Stewart and that. Yeah. And it's just a big journey. It's it's great. Yeah, I'm completely I could, the same. Yeah. 
I go from. I could talk about it for hours, you know. Yeah. What sort of stuff? What stuff? Stuff are you into, man? I'd go from Green Day, Blink One Eight Two, Sum Forty One. Oh, uh, class! Like the new metal stuff and. Yeah, or sort of the, the punk pop sort of. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, I like, yeah. I'd, I'd go for Thirty Seconds to Mars, Foo Fighters. Oh yeah, yeah. Just, just random st- anything that sounds like that. I yeah. Love- yeah, I, I love a bit, bit, bit of punk like um, UK subs. I love the UK subs. I think they're brilliant, okay. and uh, and Sex Pistols and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. I'm not too familiar with like Green Day, and I, I know a couple of their songs, and I do like them. I think they're great. Like I loved it when um, what's his face Billy guy yeah. smashed his guitar because they didn't give him long enough on stage. I was like, no, that's rock and roll. That, that, you that know, was, it was um, refreshing nine years to ago. see. That was nine was it? years yeah. ago. It was 2012's iHeartRadio Festival. <laughs> and he, he saw on screen one minute to go. He stopped their new song. Yeah. And um, just started shouting that he's not Justin Bieber. And then he started swearing <laughs> at the audience. Yeah. I oh, did like nice that. One. Yeah, it, I it, thought it was rock and roll. Yeah, you don't get things like that anymore because it's so no, no, protected. Everyone's, yeah, everyone's so like... Oh, in like social media and all that rubbish and no one's rock and roll anymore and no. I miss it <laughs> I know. well the only thing with Billy Joe doing that he did have to go to rehab afterwards for three months oh dear <laughs> yeah oh, was... like like most of them like the best like they sort of go hand in hand when you're stuck on the bus <laughs> what the oh, goodness. <laughs> I have no idea what that is <laughs> that's all right yeah. you okay um yeah, I don't even know. I don't. Uh... <laughs> oh dear, I have no idea. But um, I think it's this light. I thought it looked fancy, but now it's talking to me. <laughs> That's fair. But, uh, sorry, sorry, what were we speaking about? Um... <laughs> we were just talking about musicians. But with you playing live and everything, have you got any stories that hopefully PG that you can share? <laughs> um. Uh, I was thinking about this when you asked me, and I, every everyone I either embarrass myself or someone else embarrass themselves, and I can't dub them in. But I thought of one. Um, when was it now? Last year in I'm going to say August. We played. It was like the hottest, nice summer day. Like the weather was perfect. As and in we sorry, played, 2020 or 2019. So, oh, sorry, see what I mean? 2020's got us all messed up, hasn't it? I know. Um, <laughs> That's why I have to check. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, 2019 in August, um, we, we it was like a really hot summer's day. Everything was perfect. And we were booked to play this like carnival festival thing. Yeah. But it wasn't like full of bands. It was like, I think we were sandwiched between a Q&A with someone from Gogglebox and a man dressed up as a dinosaur. And we were in between. <laughs> And, I, I, you know, and we had us in this, we, we got, like, looked after. They had this VIP tent, and it wasn't, like, free wine. They had, like, a dude serving you free wine. I was like, I don't like wine, but it's free. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, any, anyway, we go on the stage after this thing and um, start playing. And as we're playing, we, you know, you get carried away and you go a little bit over. And I see this guy sort of on the side of the stage, like, waving, you know, and he's looking a bit angry. I'm like, oh, you know all right we'll stop it now and anyway it turns out this nice hot summer's day the guy next in the dinosaur costume has put his costume on but because we were going on so long it was starting to get really hot and he was about to pass out in his dinosaur costume (laughs) so yeah that was quite funny (laughs) but uh, i I just thought that that tickled me that did that was the most pg one i could think of (laughs) we we played a gig after straight after in oswald street and gig fest and they, I found the crate of Budweiser back there, and oh, no band had touched it all day. So I was like going around the crowd, how did everyone put free Budweiser? And <laughs> there's a there's a real bad picture of me like tr- sprawled out on the floor, and it was like oh god. But um, it was a, it was a, a real nice day with nice people, you know. It was, it was awesome, but it was <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Well, moving on then. Obviously, you play guitar. Are you <laughs> artistic in? any other ways so for example do you draw do you paint do you uh, I, sing, I sing in the shower <laughs> okay. um no no I, I the only way i can't draw i i can't um write well i thought i did like stories in school and that but um no guitars i saw if i i was i wanted to learn like guitar and then i really got into a phase of this country i wanted to learn how to play the pedal steel and um mm-hmm. and i thought 
I was like, I really want to go into that. But then I thought it's it sounds so good, and I don't. You probably get this, like musician to musician, is I don't want to unlock the secrets of it. Like it sounds like I can listen to a guitar player play, and then I can play it. Yeah. And I don't want to be able to play how nice that that, that is the most beautiful instrument in the world, and I don't want to know how it's done. But um, no, other than that, I I just I just thought if I focus my energy on one thing, yeah, I, you know, I could get get it up to a good standard sort of thing. No, that's brilliant. That is, yeah. I, I, I'm I sure. Like I'm much. sure. I'm sure you've you've dabbled in. Um, I'm sure I've seen you playing drums at one point. I can't remember where I've seen it, but I yeah. might be wrong. <laughs> no, no, no. I have played. I played drums for the past nine years. Oh, uh, nice I, one, man. I play bass, obviously guitar, slight, like really tiny bit of piano. Um, oh, nice. I'd love to learn that too. Yeah. I'd love to learn it properly. The the only thing <laughs> I can do on piano is chords and scales. Yeah. I oh, nice. I can't properly sight read, which is a pain. Um, oh, God, I never bothered with that music. <laughs> I, no. can't, I can't write or read that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, we're guitarists. We're lazy. We stick to town. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, yeah. That was enough for me, learning how to do that. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. You're having to read it backwards, but... Oh, it's strange. Fill in ga- it's all confused. I'm, I, obviously, I, I teach people how to read. Yeah. And first time I show them, they're like just just the look on their face is it's just <laughs> priceless we'll have, yeah we'll have something on the big screen and i'll say right okay so this is d string this is seventh fret you then play yeah. nine, and straight away they're like what <laughs> literally by by 20 30 minutes later though it's quite surprising because even the little ones they will pick it they up get it yeah so oh. quickly yeah, I bet is that is that are you doing that in lockdown like over this? Because I bet that's quite challenging. Yes, I've done yeah. some over Zoom. Um, I prefer doing it face to face though. It's it's, really it's easier. Good. Yeah, I think it's a lot easier. Yeah, it's a lot more fun as well because over Zoom, it's almost like I'm speaking to someone who's who's a mate of mine, and you've got to learn to be patient. So we yeah. can talk, and then you've got to have a little gap like that just in case. Yeah, a yeah, yeah. You've just got to wait. You've got to ask a question. And it's almost like um, Dora the Explorer, where she asks a question and then stares at you for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Swipe and no swiping and all that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it, it's, it's difficult, but I, I, they enjoy playing tab. It's, it's the first yeah. thing I teach. So oh, I, nice. I, yeah. I always make a joke out of it. On my arm, I've got... Um, I've got a music sleeve and I've got the music oh, notes nice one, yeah. going oh, up. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. I've got the music notes going up and I always make a joke saying, right, okay, we're guitarists, we're lazy. We like to be told what string to play, where to play, <laughs> and yeah. we get on with it. We don't read any of this weird no, stuff. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> they love it, though, it's, especially the love. Oh, it's great, man. <laughs> yeah. So moving on again, in the way that we are speaking at the moment, we're speaking through the internet, obviously. Yeah. How do you think the in- sorry the internet has impacted on music as a whole, whether it's for new artists, whether it's for someone who's starting to learn guitar, or just yeah. in general? Well, I think it's, like I was saying before, I think it's good for, you know, like us to be able to put our stuff out there into the world. Yeah. And um, I think it's good for, like, discovering music as well. Like, I wouldn't have discovered, you know, think back then, you'd have to go out, you'd have to buy the record, take a chance without hearing it, you know, or go into one of those booths and play it and, you know, and I think that just being able to like go on YouTube and like, oh, what does this sound like? Or here's a live performance from whatever. And you, you know, you can learn from that. Like I learned from YouTube how to play guitar. I had guitar lessons, um, but we just spent the hour trying to pester the teacher to teach us the Mr. Bean theme tune. <laughs> but, um, but, and he was a great Mikey. Oh, I love him to pieces. And, um, and Ben taught me a lot too. But I learn mostly like at home. That's why I play my D chord the wrong way. I can't, I still to this day can't play an F chord. Um, really? I just, I just play an F power chord. I play my <laughs> A's like that. I, you should see me. I'm like Forrest Gump on the guitar. <laughs> but um, no, it's, it's, I think it's a good source, like uh, the internet to, to be able to do that. Obviously, as it's from um, cons as well, you know, it's, um, but I think for like, like I love records, like uh, George Jones right here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think that the, the ease of it and, you know, just to go on YouTube and be able to press on and just, you know, I think it's great. Just yeah. being, but I know obviously there's a lot of bad to it, but 
it's yeah, I think it's I, I think it's a good tool. My, yeah, I did that through my teens. I was just I used to be into the likes of, of Mice and Men. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Of Mice and Men, Crown the Empire, the people who were signed to Rise Records. So Ooh. what Rise Records used to do was as soon as an album came out or a single, it was straight yeah. on their YouTube page. So the oh, first nice, thing that I used yeah. to do in the morning before school, I would go straight onto YouTube, go onto Rise Records, and I'd try and find a new band. Yeah, yeah, you just take a chance on someone, you think. Yeah. I, I always find, like, you have, you have like, you, you go for a load of artists, and then, you know, every year or so you'll discover one that you think, wow, that's amazing, and you, you get everything they've ever done then. Yes. But without, without the internet to be able to do that, it's like having to take a chance on records, you know, back then. And uh, I know, you know, there's a nostalgia to it. I'd love to have been back there going into them little booths putting the record on it's like oh i like that track you know i'll have this one sort of thing that would have been cool but i think we're exposed to a lot more stuff with the internet like we can find our niche you know instead of you know costing us money to go out and do that we can just find what we like you know when we like it and whenever we want to listen to it in our headphones you know we don't have to listen to it out loud anymore no but um i think it's great for that but you know obviously there is some like i don't think people get paid right with spotify and that do they or I, I'm, I'm not sure. To that. Um, so through experience as well, if you put a song on Spotify, you've got a pro and you've got a con. The pro yeah. is fantastic. You're on Spotify. Everyone knows yeah. Spotify. Awesome. The con, you need about 100 listens to earn a penny. Really? It's, some, it's something silly like that. So for new musicians yeah. starting out, it's, I, I, I feel sorry for them because it's, yeah, yeah. it's difficult. I saw I read something the other day where it's like the money used to be in record sales, but now all the money's in ticket sales. Yeah. And now obviously boring. no one's yeah. got any um gigs going on anymore. Nope. So no one's you know. But um yeah, it's 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 a weird one, but we just gotta get on with it. <laughs> yeah. I you know, make agree. make make the most of it, I guess. Yeah. So uh, for someone who is starting out, a new musician, someone who's starting to play guitar. Um, someone who's looking to get their music out there what would your from your experience what would your advice be to them um i'd say listen like i find that listening to music is is brilliant way of like i i, I know again it's like musician talk we like talking to you is like have you ever like put on a record and you've heard something and and oh that's really nice that you know that guitar solo that sounds great and yeah. then a couple of weeks later you pick up your guitar and you play that lick and you don't even realize you're doing it like wow i've you know i've just heard you know and i just think listening is very important and being in love with it like you gotta have the passion for it and if you Definitely. invest then you know it's gonna come through you know I, you know you can play football on sunday or you can play football on tuesday wednesday thursday and practice 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 you know you gotta have that love for it you know yeah no i completely yeah. agree so Basically, what you're saying is for anyone who's looking to start out, just persist with it, push on with it. Yeah, just just fall in love with it and like really get into it, <laughs> listen yeah. to it, eat, sleep, breathe it, you know. <laughs> Repeat. <laughs> yeah, that, that's how it should be. Yeah, no, fair those. Going back to yourself then, how has COVID, obviously the elephant in the room, the menace yeah. of 2020, <laughs> how has it affected yourself? Uh, you well, did? I was felt. I was going to say I was furloughed in work for yeah, about a couple, a couple of months. Yeah, yeah, firstly, yeah. So obviously, we've got no gigs going on, and um, but I was furloughed from work for a couple of months. But yeah. like I said, that gave me so much time to listen to music. So uh, I wasn't that bothered. And they, this uh, supermarket keeps selling Jack Daniels, so it's all good. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, obviously, you, you know, I'm lucky saying that. Like I've been lucky with that because I know some people have had a really tough time. And uh, obviously it's been bad at, at times, like you get a bit down, but you just got to pick yourself up. And I know people are dying. I know it sucks. But, you know, in my own personal world, it's like Jack's on the table, tunes are on. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just sort of in a giant waiting room waiting for life to get back to normal, yeah. you know. And, exactly um, but musically, I had a chance to play a lot of guitar in that time too. Like I played a ridiculous amount. Like only like when I get home from work on Monday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I get home, I go on the couch and I sleep with my cat for like an hour because I'm so knackered. And then I get up, have tea or whatever, and then go to bed and do it again. But um, so having that time to do that has been nice. But I just, I'm just boring now because I just can't do anything anymore, you know. It's, it, um, I just want to get out there. Like I, I could do that on weekends and then I could also go out and see the people I love and we could play gigs and drink and have a good time, you know. 
Oh, I get that. I get that. So looking on a positive then, what is next for you? What is your plan for the next six months? Obviously lockdown permitted. Yeah. As um, I'd, I'd love to see us get back to playing some shows. Like that's where it's at for me. Like, like I said, I'd like to do a record with the band and I think that we should do it like a live sort of thing, like a jamming sort. I think with jamming, you like, you go in a room, you like pour your heart out and you probably know from recording is like the first few takes is magic, isn't it? It's like, that's where it's at. It's like, I've, I've done like on Instagram or whatever, I put a video of a playing and it's like 20 minutes and I, I always end up going back to the first video, you know, that I, I, I put on to put on there. And that's where the magic is, I think. So I think as this band, we're just really spontaneous. So I'd like to see a live album, like just mics on. I don't, I know the quality is not that good, but the, the, the essence, the magic's there, you know? Yeah. You'd be and, able to um, feel it, the raw power. Yeah. That's what, that's, that's what I like. I love live albums. And, um, I think that that's what I'd love to do, you know, but I'd love to more importantly get out there and just play. That's what I love doing. Covers, originals, I don't care. I just like to play. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. So where can people find your music? Um, I think there's a couple of videos on Facebook in that. Um, mm-hmm. Sons of Saints and New Kid. Um, we just, I think, just type them in on Facebook. I mean, that's how it works and that's where we are. And there's a couple of videos on there. Brilliant. I'm sure there's a couple of on YouTube, I think. I wouldn't be able to tell you who put them on, but I think there's some on there. <laughs> um, Brilliant. No, but no more come and catch us live. I'll buy you a beer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hold you to that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's brilliant. As I say, cheers so much for doing this, mate. Really nice Hey, thanks that. for having me on. I, like I said, like I was surprised. I was like, why do you want to talk to me? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, thanks for having me on, man. It's been fun. Not a problem, mate. Yeah. Have a great day. You too, man. Get playing that guitar. Oh, I will. <laughs> Take care, mate. <laughs> See you, man. See you, pal. We'll have Bye. to end it because I have no idea how to end it. <laughs> I'll do it now. Take care, mate. See you, man. See Bye. Ya.